Hello friends. For success in life, we need to have a high curiosity quotient. By curiosity what I mean is your ability to seek answers to thousands of questions that are surrounding you but without expecting any concrete returns. I am Prakash Shesh and in this series of in and out of the box videos, we are going to seek answers which you should have done long ago. Normally airline officials will be very careful about not allowing heavily pregnant ladies to board the aircraft. But let's presume that due to an accident or due to something else, a lady does give birth to a child while the flight is in mid-air and that too it's an international flight. Now how do you determine the nationality of the child which is born? Uh, there are four possibilities. One, it could be the nationality of the country from where the aircraft took off. Secondly, it could be the destination, that means the country to which the aircraft is proceeding. The third option obviously is uh, the country to which the aircraft belongs. And the last option is the country over which the aircraft is flying at the moment the child was born. You will realize that uh, number one, is quite complicated because the aircraft may belong to a British company and it might have taken off from Bombay. So obviously India may not accept the citizenship, uh, may not give the citizenship to the child. The destination country also we have a similar problem. It's extremely difficult to find out which country the aircraft is flying over at the precise time of birth and the country over which you are flying doesn't even know that a childbirth has taken place many miles above its own surface. So, uh, general opinion is that the nationality of the child should be the nationality of the aircraft. Uh, anyway, legally, the aircraft is like a floating island uh, of the country to which it belongs. That means the country in which it is registered. So, if it's an Air India plane, uh, then whether it is flying over England at the time of the birth, whether it is proceeding to New York at the time of the birth, and whether it has taken off from Russia at the time of the birth, all these three don't work out. The nationality of the child would be Indian because he was born in a, in a, in a floating island which belonged to India. For more such interesting facts from Prakash Shesh, please like this video and subscribe to our channel.